today's video is different. Normally, lately I've been putting my food shopping in like my vlogs, but they are taking up a lot of space in the vlog as well, like the weekend shopping that the, that I've been doing, you know, might take up 10 minutes of a vlog because I do two shops and I, I talk about in detail some of the shopping. So I thought this week, because I've been to Tesco, Marks and Spencer and a little bit at B&M, I did do more at B&M but the other stuff I've actually took to my dad because he did request it and I'll tell you what they are when I do the B&M bit but I just thought it would be a standalone video this week because if I didn't do this video I wouldn't have any other video so welcome to Sunday's video so the first shop I did go to was Tesco so I'm going to start off with that so the first thing is the Elman's Light they called it help fight hunger at first i thought this was the full fat one but it wasn't because i checked the calories with the w bottles that are this version of the bottle and it's the light one i always get the light and have done for years it doesn't taste much different and it's less calories so that was on offer for two pounds the next thing on offer is this lv fiber allergy shampoo I haven't used this for a little while but I always used to have a bottle in my shower until about five weeks ago when I threw it out because it was empty. So all of these size bottles, the 500ml, are on offer for 2 75 and I mean all of the LV range including the Extraordinary Oils, the Miraculous Clay one, the red one which is for the colour which I use and I've got one on the go. I was almost going to buy a second one of that but because I'm on a budget of sorts I thought I'll just get one shampoo and if I've got if it's still enough for next week when I go if I go next week I might not um I'll get a, the red one as well because I use the red one most days then I picked up this rustless all day breakfast sausage muffin this is for my dad I got him one last week I didn't even ask him if he liked it or not I presume he did because he ate it but it is I thought he could have it on Sunday he might not want it on Sunday I mean he's got till next month to eat it so these were on offer for a pound. They do the bacon version, but they're 150, and that's why I got the sausage version because you know, trying to spend less as possible. These are dentist sticks. This is what my dog has every day. She's got a packet on the go here. She's had one today. Um, she's got all the other treats, so that's all that needed replacing. And they're on offer for 150 instead of two pound got tomatoes on the vine because my dad likes a tomato with his breakfast that he cooks on a Saturday and then sometimes the rest of them get wasted well maybe three of them will get wasted but I've been making him sandwiches and putting tomato on with everything so they'll get used he's not had any for a few weeks so he'll be happy that I've got them then I got a basmati rice and a whole grain rice normally I get branded if they're on offer but they're only branded on offer was Uncle Ben's and I can't stand anything by Uncle Ben's it's just rubbish so I weren't going to pay full price of my favourite tool devices so I got these and these were like 67p each anyway and I do prefer my whole grain rice to white rice anyway then I got this I'm either having this today or tomorrow maybe today I don't know it's a sweet chilli chicken stir fry I think it was like 250 for this so you've got your vegetables and your sauce there and then there's your chicken that's already got a sauce on as well by the looks of it then i got the world's biggest Brussels sprouts i mean i've never seen them this big they're literally the size of golf balls i don't know what i'm going to have them with but and then i got some mary's piper potatoes this is a small one because my dad keeps wasting them because he keeps getting ready meals and he's never putting anything with them when he should because ready meals aren't always big then I got in this hot pot to put in the freezer I've got a lot of stuff to lean across I thought the saving on this was more but it isn't but it's going to go in the freezer and it can have that one day next week 16th of November isn't it the 17th today oh I don't know and then this is what I got the biggest saving on and I wish I'd picked more of these up but there were lots of people fighting to get to the clearance section and I got pushed out of the way and there were more packets of this and it was £7 reduced to 2 80 so really I could have done with getting more and putting them in the freezer for my dad then I normally drink almond milk but the last few times I've been to Tesco they've not had the sweetened version in the, sweet, in the um, chilled section I prefer the chilled section one 
rather than the long life one. So for the second week running, I've got soy milk. I got three two litre bottles of Evian. They're a pound. Then I got two Pepsi Maxes because it was two for two fifty or one sixty each or something like that. That's what my dad drinks. Then this is for my dog. She likes the soft toys that have squeakies in. At first I didn't think this had a squeaky in and then I pressed it in the shop. I'm not doing it now because she'll want it straight away. But she loves these. She's got a load of them. A couple are going to get thrown out because they've just fallen to bits. But she, her favourite one is a big giraffe and it's like three times the size of this. And the squeaky in it is so loud. But it's absolutely filthy and you can't put it in the washing machine. So... If I can find Mr. Giraffe again, I'm going to replace him because she absolutely adores Mr. Giraffe. This was £5. I think it was like the most expensive thing I got today. I think. Definitely from this shop. She's a spoiled doggy. But she'll love this. What's this? This is yours. Are you going to sit? Here you go. What have you got? Does he squeak? He does. I'm going to get him. He squeaks, missus. Did in the shop. Have you buddy already done him in? I got one diet coke. This is on offer for a pound. I would have got more, but I have two out and one in the fridge so i've got enough i've got some luxury soft cruelty toilet roll i think they're my favorite i mean you know not that the world needs to know my favorite toilet rolls then i got this tesco finest cumberland sausage and mash this was three pound instead of 350 it's not because it's out of date or anything it was just in the, the section it was reduced and it was the last one these are my favorite facial wipes we're getting to like the darkness now so there's going to be shadows because it is half past six at night. I've not been on long. Um, these are the best ones ever. I always get them when they're on offer, which they are at the moment for £2. I've bought a few packets recently to stock up. Then I got a box of shreddies. These weren't on offer. And the annoying thing is they're on offer in Asda for one twenty five, And these were £2. But I worked driving across to another town to get them. And I ran out of days ago and I keep forgetting to get some. So that's my favourite cereal. Along with Weetabix and shredded wheat. Then the last two things, I'm trying to move them into decent light. Are Tesco's own mince pies. I absolutely love the packaging on these. Sometimes you get cheaper branded ones and the packaging just looks rubbish. But this could be like a famous brand. Like not that Tesco is it famous. And for the record, I don't like mince pies. These weren't for me. I won't be having one with my dad. And then I got a Mr. Kick from Cherry Bake Wells. I think they were an offer for something like 64p. And that, everyone, finally, is my Max and not my Max Spencer's. Oh god, it's been a long day. My head's pounding. This is Tesco. If you have any questions about any of the Tesco items, and I've just noticed one last item, everyone. Bread. In fact, I didn't need bread. Because this is last week's roll. My dad's not been eating bread this week. It appear. Didn't get them today. So I went to B&M and there's five things not here. So there's four porridge pots. They're the, like the ones that they sell. I think it might even be their own brand. And I think the 39p each are free for a pound. So I got three of them in original. And then I got the protein one. I can't remember what brand it is. It is by... Is actually empty it's one of the fuel porridge pot ones and it was the forest fruit ones and i got it because it was on offer for 50p and i'm sure it's something like 125 or 150 in 
Asda. So it's this brand, but obviously it's not the drink. So the things that I've got for me is I've got five of these Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I like these, but I don't get them often. I've not had any for months, actually. I like them out the freezer, but then again, I like all my chocolate out the freezer and know it doesn't freeze it, and it's nice and cold, and it, like, melts in your mouth. Then I got this 20-pack of tie-on tags. I'm not necessarily going to use them for Christmas, even though I can. I could, like, stamp them with something in right on the back. But they can be used for all sorts of things. I have an idea what I want to use them for, but I'm not going to talk about that on here right now. The rest of the video will be wrong. Then I got some clear tape. It's like parcel tape. I didn't want normal seller tape, otherwise I would get the branded one. But yeah, I just picked up the two pack of the wide clear tape because I want to use it for making up boxes and stuff. Hopefully it's good because I've had cheap one before and it doesn't really stick and it's been a waste of money. Then I got a Mrs Hinch inspired product. She uses this every day on her rugs and the carpets, but mainly her rugs. I don't have a rug, but... I want to get a rug when I've got some money, but I will use this on the carpets because I do have a dog. It was one ninety nine, and it was hard to find this scent. There was loads of the other scent, which I think is cotton fresh or something hideous. I don't like anything cotton fresh or linen fresh, whatever it is. And this is the one Mrs Hinch gets, and it's Thai Orchid and Passion Fruit. I've not used it yet, so I don't know if I will like the scent or not. But yes, that was the most expensive thing I got at one ninety nine. And the final thing I got, exciting times, two washing machine cleaners. They do like things like this in the shop, like liquid versions and stuff. But it's like three pounds for one use. And I'm pretty sure I've had these before, but not this year. So my washing machine, if there's nothing in it now, I might just do it now. But yeah, that is everything I got from BM today. Any questions about them, leave them in the comments. But I think pretty much they're self-explanatory. So the final part of this week's shopping is from Marks and Spencers. That's the first place I went today. I'm not feeling Marks and Spencers as much as I once was. I think I just walked around and I never know what to pick and it's difficult because I'm trying to think of things that my dad will have because he doesn't like to cook for himself and I don't like to constantly get ready meals even though it's practically what I've got for him from here. I didn't know what to get for myself. I only picked myself up one meal and one side, which will last me two days. The side, not the meal. I'm just finding it really difficult, so I'm going to show you what I got. So these are the best, best baked beans I've ever tried in my life. Every other bean is nowhere near as good as this, and they're like either 34 or 36p a tin. My dad requested sausages this week. He's not been having them for a few weeks. He's been having black pudding. So I got in the old English farmhouse ones. I was going to get a different ones, but these had the better date on. I have these when I'm in the car or when I go in a shop because it helps with my anxiety if I've got something in my mouth because it kind of helps distract me. I got some milk chocolate digesters for my dad. This is the meal I got for myself. I just spotted it and I thought it looks really nice. Didn't realise it was £4.50 but it does look good. So I'm probably going to wait till Sunday. I don't know what date it is. So that says the 20th on that. I think it might be like the 18th on Sunday, if it is, I'm having that on Sunday. This is my favourite chocolate. Normally I pick two up, but I've not got any for a few weeks because I've still got a full one and about that much left of one. I get them every week. I have it with another meal and it lasts me two meals, so it's a side for two meals. This is one of the ready meals I got for my dad. It's a cottage pie with cauliflower cheese and carrots and peas. I think he'll like this. And then I got him this. This is obviously a lot more expensive. It's venison ragu one pot. So, yeah, he'll like that. I think that was 4 50 as well. Then, if anyone knows Mrs Hinch, she uses minkies. They're almost impossible to get hold of because every time they go in stock, people who've already got them will buy about five of them. And then people who haven't got one, like me, who would like one, can't get one. So, everyone's calling these markies because they're from Marks and Spencer's. And apparently they went back in stock this week. I've seen them on Instagram over this week and people said the other day they went back in stock. And then I saw someone had bought 20 of them and she said, oh, I'll sell them for £2 each. I thought they were literally £2 each to buy. So that's why I only picked up two. And out of the two boxes of them that they had, there was only four left. And if I would have known there was a pound each, I would have picked up four. But she was selling them and making a profit. So then there's people going in who want one and can't get them. So I would have liked more, but 
I've got my own version of Minky now. Then I got these for my dad as well. These are for tonight. So he's got tonight, Monday and Tuesday, and then he's got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I've literally got him a food. I'll just need to get him some sides. I got him a two pack of dark chocolate Jaffa cakes. It's one fifty for two packs or one pound a pack if you buy them individually. And then another thing that everyone on Instagram is going crazy about is the Marks and Spencer's cleaning products. They're either 80 or 90p each and they didn't have many in. They just had the washing up liquid, which I like my furry platinum, so I didn't get. And then the bathroom one, and I'm really happy with my bathroom cleaner. So I just got the kitchen one and I'm going to use this when my method runs out because I'm currently using method. And that's all my shopping for this week. And if you have any questions about any of the items I've shown today, then please leave them in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, it would be amazing if you could subscribe and click the bell notification button. Then every time I upload a similar video, you'll get an alert to say I've uploaded a video. I'll be back at some point with another video. Thank you for watching, everyone.